Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you very much for your interest in our review on C. elaborative memory T cells in atopic dermatitis. Circulating C. elaborative T cells constitute a small subset of human memory T cells that are involved in several aspects of AD. The function of these cells corresponds with the role of T cells belonging to the skin-associated lymphoid tissue and reflects different mechanisms of AD. The goal of this review is to update the translational information provided by those, uh, by those cells in AD. Based on their skin tropism, recirculation, and specific responses, C. elaborative are involved in many of the cutaneous immune inflammatory abnormalities present in AD. C. elaborative cells' effector functions relate to Staphylococcus aureus, abnormal TST immune response, biomarkers, clinical aspect of the patient's pruritus, and the mechanism of action of surface therapies. For instance, Staphylococcus aureus, I13, and CLA are closely related in AD since the production of I13 by the superantigen interaction B, C elaborative T cell axis, correlates with patient severity, plasma levels of CCL17, and also with plasma levels of IgE to Staph aureus. Pruritus is also an interesting area since pruritus is a behavioral extension of TH2 inflammation and allergens are the more relevant stimulus of TH2 cells. Hastasmat induced IO31 by circulating silopis T cells correlate with patients' pruritus intensity, plasma levels of pariostin, and in patients with high levels of specific IgE to hastasmite. In conclusion, the role played by circulating C. elaborative T cells in AD goes beyond their skin homing capacities and constitute a key cell in the different aspects of AD, such as Staphylococcus aureus triggering role in AD through the SEP CLA T cell I13 axis, understanding CCL17 as a biomarker, uh, which is mechanically linked to C. elaborative C. CCL T cells, memory TH2 cells the role of allergens and IgE in IL-31 and patients' pruritus, and also in the mechanism of action of surgical therapies and the clinical evolution of the patients. Uh, thank you very much for your attention.